Hello everyone, I hope you are well. My name is Nick, we're on the Sega Mega Drive or Genesis, depending on where you are in the world. And we're going to be looking at Dino Dini Soccer, uh, published by Virgin in 1994. And Dino Dini had a direct influence on this one, so he didn't leave it to anyone else to do the covers. So here we go. Now, it's supposed to be an evolution of Goal, which come out on the Commodore Amiga. I do like Kickoff 2, that's my favourite of all the Kickoff series, again on the Commodore Amiga. And I always find myself going back to those ones each time. So we do a friendly, we do England versus some um, team that aren't as good as England. Um, so if you're going to be from this country, no offence, but I'm trying to give myself a bit of a, an easy go of things. Because generally my kickoff skills are booted up the other end of the pitch and try and get a man on the end of it. A bit like Sam Allardyce, if you're aware of that manager, long ball and then try and score a goal. So it often takes a while to perfect the skills of this, especially the Mega Drive. It's got a number of different buttons where the Amiga just had the fire button and after touch and stuff. Uh, so one to four players simultaneously, and they're not the real life players there, I can see. So one to four players simultaneously, or you can take part in the league or World Cup with up to 24 people. So you can have a bit of a party. So Virgin, 1994, if you're aware of Kickoff 2 on the Amiga, which is the ultimate one for me, then uh, we'll see how this one plays. Now there was P on the PS4, Kickoff Revival, which I played for a bit, which was quite good. A few extra skills to perfect, but then I went back to the basics of Kickoff 2 again. So initial feelings, it does look like Kickoff 2. I'm the team in the white, so it's England versus Malta. Uh, the controls always are a little bit slippery, so let's see how we can do. Uh, I think it's the B button to do a slide tackle, I think. Right, so passing is not my forte. I'm just going to try and run it in. Malta are on the attack. Now, the difference straight away is um, controls quite similar, actually. There's music playing. I'm not used to music playing in a kickoff uh, game. But I suppose that was going to be inevitable because the, the Sega system did like its music playing at the same time. Right, boot that up. So you can see my skills already. Oh, save it. So you can see my skills already is booting it up as far as I can. And there's the camera. Oh man, they've scored. Have they sc no, we saved it. Right. Um, you can see the camera was very similar to Goal on the uh, Commodore Amiga. Uh, have a look at that review if you haven't already. Alright, now's a chance. Need to get round and shoot. Yes. The ball does not stick to your feet. This game is very tricky. You can see the um, scanner on the top left to try and see where you are. You can change your formations if you want as well. Substitute different players. Oh, come on, Nicky. Now, as you might have seen when we're doing the options, my team is on a greater skill factor than theirs. So they will go a bit slower than me, maybe get tired a bit easier. You can do after touch. Oh, oh good save. So it looks like England are going to go down to Malta by the looks of things, unless I can get gradually better. But my gameplay is going to be awful. Again, I think I might gradually go back to um, the one by Anko in 1990 on the Amiga. But if you had a Mega Drive, I think you would have been okay with this one. You might have got a bit frustrated with it, because it, if you're used to other football games, it plays in a slightly different way. Um, I always play these games in a slightly chaotic way. Try and get a man through. Shoot! Oh, what? Good save. I thought I was just going to run it clean in here. You can change the length of the halves. Um, I'm on five minutes here. Oh, look. Right, corner. Let's get it to someone. That seems like a good bit of aiming. Oh, no, that's way too hard. Well done. So you live and you learn. So is this uh, uh, an accurate reflection of kickoff? It is. And they've brought it to the Mega Drive. Not big on the music, but I'd imagine there's something in the options set menu to turn that off if you want to does seem a bit random and I need to get a little bit better here. A little bit slippery. Be great in actual um, real two player mode with uh, another human player here. Be quite mental. They're going to score in a minute aren't they? So well done Dino Dini. Um, you've done well here. Um, he has a lot of enemies Dino Dini for some reason. I don't know why. But uh, you know. It plays very different to Sensible Soccer, which is more of a passing game. If I was more skilled, maybe I could turn this into a passing game. But Sensible Soccer is um, better if you're into lots of passing. I think that one is available on the Mega Drive as well. And I've just scored an own goal. Why did I do that for? I've just given Maul to the lead. Anyway, as I was saying, why did I do that? As I was saying, Sensible Soccer is available on the Mega Drive as well, I think. We might come to that at some point. Most often, people have got their favourites, either kick off series or the Sensible Soccer series. 
My slight preference is for Kickoff 2, but they're both brilliant, brilliant games. Right, why have I given them a one goal lead? That's terrible. Right, come on, the manager's going to get sacked here. Ooh! Well, at least I got a shot on target there. That's, that's, uh, better than before. Shoot! Right, so I'm slowly getting my eye in here. Oh, I took a bit of time. Maybe he did a bit of, um, aftertouch. The thing is, though, you haven't got time to take your time on this. It moves so, so fast. It's frantic action, so quite often you'd get an amazing goal and not be able to recreate it. But 45 degrees, I seem to remember, on a lot of these games. Get to 45 degrees and shoot, so maybe I'd go for that. So, England nil, Malta one. And I don't think they've finished yet. Oh, you saw this in real life. You think, what are the players doing? It's a good cross. No one's there to meet it. Let's boot it down the pitch. Good. Get a man on it. Another boot. Right, get around the side. Shoot. Yes. No. He was clean through then. Bit of composure. I might have been able to do something a bit better. Now, did you have this one back in the day? Did you play it a lot or did you get frustrated? If you're used to kick off two engine, um, it's quite faithful to that. So I don't think you've been too disappointed. Uh, if your main source of games are things like FIFA and stuff, you, you, you might end up hating this one. But I like it. Oh, a bit of aftertouch there. So I was successful to a little bit. Not quite sure how you do the chips. Maybe I need to do different buttons. Oh, God. Oh, man. 2-0. M. Camillari. Oh, no. England nil. Malta 2. Well, at least they got a goal on their own volition here. 2-0. Come out, come out the replay. Camera zooms out. Oh, man. Right, so we've got a bit of a deficit here. So I think the aim of the review really is, can I get a goal? That's what we're going to try and do. But although this isn't um, my first go of the kickoff games, this is my first go of this particular version, so let me off slightly. 2-0. 41 seconds to the end of the half. I think we're going to have to regroup. Maybe kicking up the pitch might help me a bit more. Who knows? But one of their goals I got, what's that about? There's a running track around this. I really need to load up PS4 Kickoff Revival uh, again. I've played that for such a long time, maybe over a year and a half, I think. I want to see how they updated it, because, um, you know, it was good. People were telling me to play Actua Soccer, which I haven't played um, at all. Uh, I, I, I do like the Kickoff series. I can, I can see why people don't like it, but I think overall, I think Dino Dini's done a good job, so I'm always going to be a bit biased because I've got nostalgia here. Would I keep playing this particular version? No, I'm going to keep going back to the Amiga kickoff too, because that's where all my memories were. So, you know, it's um, where, where you um, but it's where you grew up, I suppose, the memories there. But admittedly, this has got extra bits to it, and overall, is a more polished game. I can't deny that. Right, in we go. Can I change any of this stuff? Let's change my formation or something. What's that? That's the match stats so far. Not much possession. The wind is off. You can change to different pitches. Oh, there's, you can turn the music and sound effects off there if you want to. We'll keep it on. I'm getting used to it. So you can turn that off at any point. So that is good. Well done, Dino, for having that as an option. Can't change the pitch actually in the game, which is not surprising. Can we change our actual strip in the game? That'd be good. Right, this will confuse them. We're going, we come out in the second half wearing a completely different football strip. Can we change this? Looks like we can. Right, this will muddle their minds. Brilliant, right. Ha 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 ha. I'm not, I, I wonder if you can do this in the World Cup mode. I, I'd imagine you can only do this in, in the friendly mode, I guess. I like this boot controller, that's good. It's quite a nice game, this, if you're into football games. I'm not sure how much it would have, would have sold. Um, I'm guessing people that bought this probably already owned an Amiga, um, just wanted to kick off on a different system. I might be wrong, that's where I'm assuming. So we're out in orange, they're in red, so it might be a bit confusing. Rick, what have you done? Right, come on now. 2-0. Let's get this back. Boot up the field. Get on the end of this. Yay! Go! Take that. P. Pearson. I don't know who that is, but well done. Maybe it's Paul Merson, is it? 1994. Look at that. 45 degrees in. Goalkeeper rubbish. 2-1. Right, maybe it isn't all over after all. Let's get it in. So that's sort of like the classic goals I'm used to scoring on kickoff 2. Boot up the pitch. Get on the end of it. Shoot. Right, here we go. And then defend for all your life. All your worth here. Right, football's coming home now. Oh, what's he doing there? Oh, God. 3-1. Gary Sultana, if that's his name. Oh, look at that. I thought we was getting back into it then. 
Goalkeeper, goalkeeper, no. The goalkeeper is automatically controlled by the computer uh, unless it's a penalty shootout. Oh, that was ridiculous. Ridiculous. 4 minutes 30. 3-1 to Malta. This game is heating up. Now, my worry was for this review, it would end up 0-0. Nil -nil. Well, that's not going to happen. So, uh, that's good. So, we've seen four goals. One of them was an own goal. Good, right. Come on. Cool, terrible foul. Send him off, ref. Camillari. Squiddy player. I like the way it zooms out there. Get onto it, get onto it. Mm. Well, interesting to play the different pitches. In my own time, I'll probably play a World Cup. We won't do a blundering series about this because with this sort of gameplay, I don't think you could probably keep up with it or wouldn't want to for a whole World Cup. But uh, there is a rather long Amiga video for Back and Beyond yesteryear where I did do a World Cup on the Amiga. So check that one out if you want. It's from a long, long time ago. Long, long time ago. They've made a substitution, G Sinky. I won't make any substitutions. I'll keep with my same team. They brought on Burhager. What difference does that make? I don't know. Now you notice all players have got the same haircut, I think. In sensible soccer, you get blonde players, different skin players. Oh, well, right, we go shoot. Oh, why didn't he let that in? Come on, team. At least we're getting more shots in. I'm getting gradually better, so you can tell once you get your eye into this. Yes. Oh, that was a great goal. That's my best goal so far. Once you get your eye into this, you will get better, which I am. That was a great goal. So cross. Shot. Boom. Right, I'm getting the hang of this now. That was Ian Wright, I think. But D right there. Boom, right. What we got? Two, three, three. No, two, three, sorry. I'm getting excited now. Oh, don't go in. Two, three to the Malters. If I hadn't scored that own goal, we've got to be level now. Right, come on. Let's get another goal. Two, three. Two weeks. I hope the orange and red isn't confusing you. Oh, shouldn't have shot then. I could have just uh, done a, maybe a delicate chip forward. I think if we played this team again, I think we'd give them a, such a tonking. But bear in mind, I'm on semi-pro mode and they're on amateur or whatever it was. They will move quite a bit faster if I had them on the same skill level. So it's good to have a learning curve. So that makes it good. So if you're a bit rubbish, um which I seem to be always. <laughs> they've changed their tactics, they've gone defensive. They've put five at the back. They're obviously kind of defend their, their narrow lead. So it's up to me to try and, oh man, it's up to me to try and attack. Now, the last football game I played, oh, excuse me, <laughs> need a glass of water. The last football game I played was John Barnes on the Amiga. Before then, I think it was Micropro Soccer on the Commodore 64. And I don't think I got any goals on those, so this is different. Ow! Oh, should have shot there. So we're peppering the goal mouth here. I think it's only a matter of time. Just keep it going. Do interesting passes. Through. Oh, why well, that defender just saved it. When we'll just get past the last man, we're through. A shot on goal, and the likelihood is he might let it in. Good. Come on. Yes! Oh, why didn't he shoot that straight? Should have been the near post there. Near post and that would have been a goal. Come on now, 1 minute 20 seconds left. They've changed their tactics again to a sweeper. They're trying to sweep all the long balls I'm putting through. So they're trying to cancel that out. So there's a bit of computer AI going on here, which is good to see. i can cut that back. Yeah, see, I find it very hard to cut back. There's probably some skills involved. So overall, I like this game. It, as I say, it will split the um, it will split the pack. Some people will hate it, some people will like it. Uh, I I like it, but you know, kick off two for me. Still, 1990 on the Amiga by Anko. This is Virgin 1994. Uh, they kept the franchise going for quite some time. Goof. I don't know what's happening with a kick off revival. Is that still being updated? I haven't checked it for a while. Yes. Hmm. I haven't checked it for a while. Um, Dino Dini used to be very active on um, Twitter when he was doing development phases. I haven't, I haven't seen him for quite a while. Maybe he's working on something else, but he did get did tend to get a lot of stick. A lot of stick. Some people were quite um, horrible to him, it seemed, but uh, that's the internet for you. I've experienced a bit of that myself, believe it or not. It's just craziness. It's all about uh, reliving memories, retro, and trying to do your best, trying to create stuff. Yes! Yes! 
That was with seven seconds to go. Free, free. Don't mess him up. Free, free. Deedly dee. Don't mess him up. Free, free. Deedly dee. Boom. Excellent. Did 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 did. So so with that own goal, we gave them a head start. We got back to free free, and that's look, looking like the way it's going to end, unless we get in a ridiculous amount of extra time or injury time given to us. Can we get a winner? Can we get a winner? Let's hopefully they don't get a winner. That'd be a sickener if we come back from nothing. So that's that's uh, a trick for you. If you're losing at half time, if you're on a computer or playing a real a real um, football match. What you do is at half time completely change the colour of your strip and um, then you will win or at least get a draw and you come back from doom. That's it, full time folks, full time. Free free. So that's okay for a first go, I would say. Um, you knew my gameplay straight away. So England free, Malta free. So that gives me great confidence that if I kept playing this game, I will get gradually better and I can get quite a bit of play out of it. Because these sort of reviews are a bit about, would you go back after your next few goes? And I would have done. See, let's, I skipped all this. You can do practice. You can practice your penalties as well. So you can um, do the finer skills, which you should do if you want to get good at the game and then play a mate who comes around. So we won't do this. We'll get out of here. You can change the pitch type as well. Uh, let's have a look at the other modes. There's World Cup, League, as an arcade mode. I'd imagine the arcade mode you gradually play better and better teams. So, you know, it's a 1994 World Cup where you can create your own. Yeah, I think we'll leave that one there. So I like this game. It was good. So I um, hope you liked having a look at that. That was Dino Dini Soccer on the Sega Mega Drive or Genesis, published by Virgin in 1994. Get any comments about this game, similar games, or any retro memories, then please put those below. You're always more than welcome, and you can't beat a good bit of football. A huge thanks to everyone that's subscribed so far. It's a massive help to the channel. If you want to help a bit more, there's patreon.com slash njenkin. Every bit really does help, and we give a shout out to everyone that supported the channel in that month, and one is quite due in the next day or so, so look out for that video at time recording. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.